Hi my loving Tiffany Thinks family, how are you all? I hope you're all really well and living your best life. I'm just driving, what I'll do is let me, I'm nearly going to park up and then we'll talk properly. Uh, oh, actually it's going to be a red traffic light so we can have a little catch up. I am quickly popping into the shops because I have um, these trousers that I need to return. I'm hoping they will still allow me to do a return. I don't know if it's been 30 days yet. I need to check that. If they say I can't return it, I'll just keep the trousers. I have left it a bit long, but it doesn't feel like it's been 30 days. So technically I should have checked the receipt, but I've just been running errands anyways. And I've got, I've got the trousers in the car, so I might as well pop in see if they say um, it's okay. And you know what, if they say it's a bit too late, that's fine as well. It just means that I was meant to keep the trousers. Luckily they fit, so, um, yes. That was the best park, <laughs> parking situation that I've done Had it in one go. You know when there's people watching you park, I feel, I feel like when there's loads of people watching you or if there's someone in the car, especially Matt, when Matt is in the car with me, I feel like, oh my goodness, he's gonna say something. So I'm more like, I'm like doing this and I'm doing all the things that I don't normally do. But today, parking was incredible. Sad no one was here to witness it. I need to go do the bits that I need to do. I actually went to see my friend earlier and I didn't pick up the camera. Today wasn't really part of the plan. I wasn't meant to vlog. It was meant to be a day off vlogging because sometimes it's nice to have days where I'm just on my own you know doing boring bits like filling out forms and bloody bloody blah and then I went to see one of my friends and not everyone in my life likes being on camera so went and saw her so I just thought today was going to be a no camera kind of day but you know what I'm like I love 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 talking to you just showing you my day-to-day -day life. I just, I think I'm in the habit of just talking to you about everything, <laughs> even if it's about parking, you know? So I um, wanted to say hello. <laughs> I also have to pick up Matt from the train station in less than an hour. Right, I'm gonna, I also want to stop over at the Sri Lankan shop because I would like to pick him up some vegetable rolls. I just thought, well, I'm going to pass the Sri Lankan shop anyways, and it'll be nice to have some vegetable rolls. Haven't had one in a while. And Matt absolutely loves it, so I'd like to kind of surprise him with some. So let's get on with it. So that's the plans. So come along with me. <laughs> I'm in the car now and you know one of you um, wrote in the comments and it really made me think you're absolutely right I sometimes find deals on books on Amazon right and then I buy the book and then I got a comment which said please don't buy on Amazon because then they'll shop they'll close bookshops and you're absolutely right even if I'm paying a little bit more and helping out an independent. Do you know what I normally do? On Amazon, I save the books that I wanna read and I put save for later. And then whenever it's gone down on price or if there's a sale or if they've got an offer, I always buy the books there. But from now on, I'm not gonna do it unless it's really, really, no, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. I need to buy books from the bookshop because imagine they shut down all the bookshops. That would honestly make me so, so sad. And when I read that comment, I just, kept thinking about that comment and I kept thinking if they closed all the bookshops down I would be devastated you know to that person that left me that comment thank you because I always buy things off Amazon and there's some things that I need to not do that of course sometimes with just because of convenience I will buy things off Amazon but I need to be better at physically going into the shops um, because we don't want shops to close down Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I got so scared. Honestly, did you see how close that man was? That is why anytime I get into the car, I press the lock button. You just don't know. Imagine he opened the door. I would scream. <laughs> I need to go and pick up my darling from the train station. I also 
because girl math I returned my trousers they allowed me to do it because it was within the time and so I went into Superdrug just because I wanted to walk around and see what makeup bits they've got and I saw this elf blush I know it's really random purchase and I've been looking for a liquid blush and online on TikTok actually I've seen so many people use the elf liquid blush i'm not sure if it's this you know what when i do my makeup i'm gonna try this out because i've been looking for a liquid blush for a very long time so i love that color i think it's gonna be i think it'll be a really nice lip color as well but i think all over the cheeks oh can't wait to try that out Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. I got the goods. You know, when you go there, you see all the food out there, right? It's all kind of laid out and it looks incredible. It smells yummy and you just want to buy everything. But what I did is I got some vegetable rolls. I got this potato roti that Matt loves um, and I got some cake. So I'm thinking tea and that, all of this. Cake, the cake that they do, it's called butter cake. Nothing beats this food. If you have a Sri Lankan food, no, if you have a Sri Lankan restaurant near where you live, you've got to pop in and ask for vegetable rolls and tell them you want it fresh so it's still crunchy um, and have a cup of tea as well. If you can sit in, that's brilliant. But if it's a takeaway, just go home, put the rolls in your air fryer just to make it a little bit crunchy and then have a cup of tea. Honestly, best snack. Um, and it just, for me, Sri Lankan food is obviously what I grew up with. So, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love going in there because all the ladies in there are super nice. I love going in there. The aunties, <laughs> I call them aunties because in our culture, it's respectful to call, um, if someone's older, you have to call them auntie. So um, yeah, all the aunties in there are just super, super lovely. And you get so many people in there. It's always busy. I think it's because it's, on a good location it's like on the high street and so people will go in there for their lunch breaks and it's just easy kind of takeaway kind of food right let's go and pick up matt is he there yet oh no i've got 20 minutes to get him from the train station i'm excited to show him all the food bits i know he's going to be super super happy because we've been talking about having rolls even when we went to london you know when we had our london day out and we went and had all these soup dumplings and the cheese toasty there was an area for sri lankan food but we didn't have it because we were so stuffed by the time we'd eaten all the food we were kind of full um but matt was saying vegetable rolls yay i don't know but if you listen carefully to that video you can hear me and matt getting really excited um about the sri lankan food stall <laughs> we were really really excited oh my goodness the car smells so yummy i just want to take the food out and start eating but i want to wait for matt maybe we could eat one of the rolls together but the best combination is rolls and a cup of tea mm. I'm here at the train station. I thought I was going to be late because there was a bit of traffic, but Matt's not here yet. I was thinking, right, I don't know when this video will come out, but let me move up. Yeah, I was just thinking, right, it's going to be four years since my dad passed away. Isn't that crazy? I lost my dad to covid um if i posted a video then um and this was kind of before i got diagnosed so this was during covid time we lost my dad and it's crazy to think that it's been four years it's going to be four years so 6th of april is the anniversary and um i can't believe it i honestly can't believe four years like how has it been four years crazy 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 time is i think since he passed away a lot has happened in my life and the way i kind of see death and um i think it started off with my dad passing away 
we didn't expect it. It was so sudden. He didn't have any health problems, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, no cholesterol. It, he's, he passed away um, because he got COVID, right? And it happened so suddenly and we were all in shock because it was kind of when COVID was happening, it was kind of early, wasn't it? April. Um, and he, he just passed away really suddenly. And then I got diagnosed and, well, I got ill really quickly after he passed away. And then I, I just, I think my outlook on death has changed. It doesn't mean it's, it doesn't mean it's okay, if that makes sense. It's, it's still really hard because there's moments where I think he's still alive. Um, my dad lived in India and there'll be moments where I think, oh, he's still in India, so he's not come to visit, you know? And then, um, hold on, I'm just moving up here just to give some people some space. Um, I'm at the station here, so I was just moving up. I don't know if you saw anything, but this is kind of where I'm at at the moment. Just waiting on Matt. It's kind of a difficult one to talk about because my dad and I, we, we've, we've been for a lot and um, even our relationship that I'm so, so, so grateful to God. And I think about this a lot that I sorted things out with him before he passed away and if I could turn back time I wish I sorted it out a lot sooner I do think about that I do wish I could understand things from his pers perspective just because we're all kind of living life and we're all dealing with our own life journeys and sometimes we forget that our parents are living their life journey as well and people make mistakes and but when you're growing up you kind of you don't want to accept it you for me anyways I couldn't accept things and now that I've gone through a lot I understand a lot more and I just wish I wish I could kind of I wish I got this realization a lot sooner um, because I would have had more time with him, if that makes sense. It's kind of that year of COVID was my year where that was the year that I thought, right, I'm going to kind of forgive my dad and start again. And all of a sudden, he, he got taken away. So it's just a lesson. I always say this, everything in life is a lesson. And we just, we can only kind of grow from it. Till this day, I always say this, I'm so, so, so grateful because I feel if he had passed away and I hadn't made things better, oh my goodness, I would feel awful now and I would have so much guilt. Whereas now, of course, it's heartbreaking. Um, all these, there's these people in front of me hugging each other. <laughs> I've also learned a lot from what happened to me and what happened to my father. I understand how quick your life can change. And for me, when I was going through the cancer journey, I kept saying, right, at least I get to, I know it's really, really bad, but you do have moments where you think you're not gonna make it and you're gonna die. Honestly, that's kind of what was going through my head. And I was man, I managed, I felt kind of grateful to God that I was able to kind of tell my loved ones I love them and you know I felt like I had time whereas my dad he didn't have any time to say goodbye and his life got taken away and oh, oh Matt's here Matt's here Woo -woo. Matt's here hiya darling <laughs> I got a present for you what is it darling what do you think Rolls. Yeah. Oh, fast. You want hand sanitizer? I'm gonna have some as well. We're gonna have. I was saying rolls is the best with a cup of tea. Yeah, I don't But know. let's just have a little bite of one. I also bought something else for you. <laughs> you bought I bought potato or tea. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and cake, butter cake. No, perfect dinner. Darling. Cheers. Cheers.
Mm. Do not, one of the... <laughs> put my gown on we're back home it was honestly so beautiful to see all the green the green the greenery it was so nice taking the scenic route and just looking out the window and I tried to capture it on the camera but I don't think um, the camera will pick up how beautiful it was like it was all nice and green and very spring like <laughs> we took a bite out of the potato one in the car Let me show you the cake as well. Look at that. This is, oh, it's got icing on it. Nice. Um, I asked for butter cake, and butter cake is essentially just sponge cake, really. Did you not want the icing? I just asked for butter cake. I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't mind. So this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, should I take a bite out of this? I'm gonna take a bite. Should I take a bite? No, you know what, let me eat my roll. You've got to have rolls with ketchup. Rolls with ketchup is honestly the best. Like that. We already had one in the car. And then we also had this potato veggie roti. We also had this. I'll show you. This is essentially what they've got inside. It's potatoes and vegetables. Potato curry. Potato curry with vegetables in there. And a, um, oh, it's so delicious. Mmm. I like this cup because it reminds me of my friend. She bought this for me and anytime I have this, I think of her. It's a lot later. We've just, honestly, I'll be really honest with you. We've been in our robes snuggling on the sofa. We're gonna quickly pop into the shops because we don't have enough bits for sandwiches tomorrow um, for work. So we're going to sort that out now just because it's quite late now. Well, it's not late, it's half seven, but I'm tired. I woke up quite early just to get bits done today. Um, but I've had a really productive day, I feel. Yeah, I've got lots done. Um, yeah, should we go, darling? Yeah, let's go. I love how snuggled you are. Matt got an email and basically, you know the lamp? There's this floor lamp that we have been obsessed with and we haven't, I've talked about this a lot, but there's this floor lamp from John Lewis that came back in stock. We ordered it straight away and it's been delivered to a shop. So we need to go and collect that. That shop closes at 10 p.m. So we'll go to get food bits, then go and get our lamp. We we'll probably will fix up the We need to get a bulb, don't we, for the lamp. We'll fix the lamp up tonight. So at least I get to show you. What's this? Oh, it's a little feather. I always say, um, whenever there's a little feather like that, it's from an angel. Let's go and get a bit done. I think I'm so tired, so I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Yes. Is the bulb included? It says yes. Yay! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Also, do you know what time I woke up today? 6 a.m. I actually woke up. I wanted to do kind of an early morning starting time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I woke up at six o'clock because I wanted kind of a, I wanted a full day. And you know how the sun comes out really super early? So I woke up at 6 a.m. So your girl is gonna be sleeping by nine. I am the most bossiest girl, aren't I? Yep. I said, Matt, go here, get this. We need this, we need that. I think it's because they're closing up. So I don't want us to kind of take our time. Like we're the only ones left here. Oh, we didn't get any bananas. Oh, yeah. Smoothie, shall I run out and get it? Yeah, go get yeah. it. Here you go. We're home and we've got our floor lamp. It's here, it's in the box and it comes with a bulb. So we're gonna fix it right now. And it just means that I can't believe it. Matt said he looked online on the John Lewis website and apparently it's sold out again. So it must be a popular one or it means they don't stock as much. Um, I don't know, but I've looked everywhere for this lamp. I looked on eBay, I looked on Facebook market, I looked everywhere because I was prepared to buy it, but there was no luck. But luckily they stocked a little bit more. We saw this lamp back in December, so I'm hoping that we still love it. 
The name of the lamp, if anyone's wondering, is the Decora Telescopic Floor Lamp. It's gonna go in that corner over there, so behind this lamp, I think. Or we might, not this lamp, this plant. Or we might need to move this plant. Um, we'll figure it out. Darling, it's huge. <laughs> I was gonna say that's what she said. <laughs> right, look at that. Wow, it really matches that lamp. Yeah, so I don't think there'll be a bulb. Oh, that's what I looked online for. It said bulb included, but no bulb. Can we just turn the way. I'm hoping this matches. Lovely. Right, you got it? I got it. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Good that you can adjust the height. <laughs> it actually didn't come with any bulbs, so we're using the... This is the wrong type of bulb, I think. It should work, it should work. Yeah, it says dimmer bulb. Right, um, we we're using, bulbs. yeah, we're using the bulb from the our shield. side table. Hold go. on, should we keep the plastic on it? Yeah, in just in case. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we will have. <laughs> we need a little extension plug because all the wires are being, no, all the plug points are being used for the internet in that corner. So Matt's gone mm. to get a little extension um, so that we can plug it in that corner because I think that's where it will look the nicest. Don't you think, right? In that corner over there. If it doesn't work here, we'll take it to our bedroom. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to return this because I have looked everywhere for this lamp and I do love it. I absolutely love it. I even like the bottom of it. It's got a little gold accent at the bottom, so it's lovely. And you know what? We've got accents of black on the chairs and table and here. Yeah, the Wi-Fi box is black as well. <laughs> Matt says the Wi-Fi box. He said the Wi-Fi box is black as well. And the TV. <laughs> Your hair. And my hair. Ooh. Where? We kept the plastic cover on just to see if we like it. Right, should we turn it on? We'll do a big reveal. <laughs> it's like the Christmas tree. Wait, hold on, let me turn the light off. Three, two, one. Ooh, <gasps> that's cozy. A little bit on a wonky wonk. Oh, that is so. That is going to be my new reading corner just there. That's so nice. I might push it back a little. I think no, that's fine. Do you think we should keep the plant there or move the plant? Please let me know. I don't know. I think, you know when you get something new, it takes a while to get used to it. So I'm loving the plant there, but I don't know if it's too much in that corner. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. And <laughs> no, we always said we wanted a lamp here. Do you think we should move the plant? And the plant in the corner there? Well, it's still temporary. Yeah, that was just, those stools were here when we got this place. So we just kept it for like memories. Um, yeah, we could do that. Maybe that plant. Move this pillow. We're moving plant pots around, plants around. I know, really I like that, the other plant pot, darling. Because it's yeah. quite, no, the other one, because it was like the perfect height. <laughs> this is gonna be us all night. <laughs> Not sure now. Everything looks good. Do you think we need more plants? But that's the only thing that was missing in this room. Like it's completed. You happy with it, yeah? I'm happy, yeah. I'm gonna get changed into my pajamas and I also need to sort the bedding out because we took it off to wash. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. This morning, I really want a smoothie. Matt's gone on a run, and I thought it would be nice for him to have a smoothie to start off the day. Um, we've got blueberries, we've got bananas, we've got yogurt. Um, this one, this Greek authentic with vanilla 
yogurt but I want to get some oat milk. I don't have any oat milk or coconut milk, which is a little bit annoying because I've got everything else. I also want to put a little bit of peanut butter in it just to make it a little bit sweet. Um, I'm just craving it this morning. I want to pop into the shops quickly and get my milk. I might get oat, I'm going to get both. I'm going to get oat milk and coconut milk because I want to stock it up. And you all know that I drink coconut milk on its own. I like it as a juice. Um, it just tastes so clean and um, yeah, so let's go and get that and then I'll make my little smoothie for Matt and I. Um, what else do I need? I don't need anything else. We've got everything kind of stocked up um, and do I need anything else? No, I don't need anything else. <laughs> It is such a beautiful morning. I do want to go for a walk and I also want to go to church. So I shall do that today. Right, that's a good park. My phone has been going off this morning. I have got a few Hindus that I've been invited to and it's it's been um, do you know what it is there's some activities that I just can't do and I just feel really bad because I have to I'm that person that's like oh sorry you guys go ahead but I'm not able to do this and I can't do that physically I'm not here. and it's just uh I'm not saying it in the group I'm kind of messaging privately to the main person because I don't want to I don't want to make a big deal of, a deal about it but it's just making me feel uh I hate being that person that has to say oh sorry I can't do this I'm sorry I can't do that but I know everyone knows my situation and it's just some things I'm not able to do um, and that's okay you know that's fine for me even though I won't be able to take part in some of the activities I'll be the one taking the pictures for the girls you know I'll be the one taking all the pictures and yeah so I hope it's okay it's just made oh it's just making me feel really bad because you know before before all of this, whenever anyone would get married and I would be invited to the Hindus, I would be like, yes, we're doing this, yes, we're doing that, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And I want that energy back, I wanna be that way because I guess it's different because my body is different and I know it's okay, it's just, it's one of those things that once I've done it, I'm going to feel fine about it. I just, I'm not really confident and with my body and I don't feel... I think the only people that have seen my body is my mum and Matt. Those are the two people that have seen my body and... You need to build up confidence. It doesn't happen, you know? Um, and as much as I'm grateful, you all know I'm so, so grateful for my body. I'm so, so grateful that I've, I've endured so much and my body is still here, you know, and it's still, it looks fine. Like when you look at me from the outside, of course I've got the stoma, and but you really have to look for it, you know. I kind of wear outfits that cover it. I don't, I'm just not there yet where I'm confident to kind of show off anything and even when I go on a holiday and I'm with Matt, I don't mind kind of my, a little bit of my tummy showing or I just think over time I'm going to get that confidence back. Um, I'm just not there yet and that's okay. That's okay for me to take my own time with everything because when you're with a group of people, it's, yeah, especially a group of people that you might not know everyone, it's, yeah, it's going to take me some time to kind of get my confidence back and that's okay I'm telling myself that's okay because I feel I feel like I'm proud of myself I've handled things quite well um, there's moments where I'm screaming and crying but I really feel I've handled having the operation and my mindset about it because 
there's days where I do cry and there's outfits I can't wear. I just physically can't wear anymore or um, my stoma is protruding and you can see the bag and you know there's days where I'm kind of wearing an outfit and I think right I can't wear this ever again especially an old outfit that I used to love if it's a dress or tight something a tight skirt and that's okay because I'd rather be here today you know and that's how I kind of get through it I have moments where I think oh man you know I wish I could wear that or but I but in the bigger picture but whenever I get a moment like that I think you know what Tiffany you're here today so be grateful you've got to be grateful but I am allowed to have days where I'm a bit like ah. <laughs> right let's go and get the let's go and get the coconut milk and the oat milk I'm gonna just take my card. I don't need to take my whole purse. I don't know if I showed you. I think I would have. I got a little clip. But basically, the coconut milk and the oat milk was on sale. It was. It's normally two twenty-five, but it's at one seventy-five. So I've stocked up on both of those i also got matt a little donut i am going to take matt's laughing at how much oh sorry also the camera shut off um the battery situation so that's why it kind of cut off abruptly but matt's laughing at how much i bought but it was on sale also done i got you something what'd you get <gasps> You know, I got my favourite flavour though. Do you know why? Yeah. You can have it with your coffee now. Which have a bite of it. I'm gonna make a smoothie. That was the whole... The thing is, right, I woke up thinking, right, I want a smoothie, I want to start off fresh. Then I've gone in. Then I, yeah, let's have it after the smoothie. But I went there and I got a donut. That kind of defeats the purpose, but it's fine. I don't have donuts all the time. And also, we only got one for us to share. Crazy thing is, that one donut is the equivalent of two of these. So, I'm not really hustling there. Not a money saving way, but sometimes you just gotta do it. This is the best bread. You know I talk about sourdough bread. Jason's is the best. Nice. Yeah, this is- That was on sale as well. Yeah, that's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so- and the muffins on sale. What? Everything was on sale. I bought everything on sale today. Um, so this is the best bread, if you're wondering. If, you, if you're at the supermarkets, please try this. Jason sourdough, love. Sorry, before I um, recommend something, I need to tell you how I have it. The Jason <laughs> sourdough has to be toasted, just in case you get it and you think, oh, Tiffany, that, oh, brother. <laughs> if you think, oh, it doesn't taste nice, then it's only because it hasn't been toasted. You have to toast it quite well done. It has to be quite toasty and crunchy. Right, let me, make this smoothie now enough chit chat banana peel peel banana peel do you know that song three two one Ooh. cheers what do you reckon i would give this a solid Five out of ten. Mm. It's not your best, definitely not. Dark. Yeah, you shouldn't mix. What well, you shouldn't put blueberries with peanut butter. No. It doesn't die. It's a total mix. <laughs> it's just not. It doesn't taste good. Ha! <laughs> you finish that, even if it doesn't taste good. <laughs> it's got a really bad like yeah. aftertaste. It's well. not nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no point. There's no point. If you bought that, there's no point in saying that. Like, if you bought that, you'd say, I'll never go there again. Yeah, there's no point in that. Like, <laughs> messing about it. It's not nice. That's, bottom line is it's just not nice. And it's peanut butter. Like, That's not it. It's rubbish. Rubbish? <laughs> you can't that. use the word rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it is. I'm gonna go now, and I know it's a little bit random shutting off now, but I need to edit this video and get it up, so... 
I'm gonna shut off but I think I'm merging this with another video so it should be okay um I hope you're all having the best time I'm just having my little coffee and I've got the donut but I'm waiting for Matt to have the donut so we can have it together but I might take a little bite this is the Biscoff one this is the Biscoff one and it's really yummy come sit with me darling sit right next to me I'm gonna take a little bite Mmm. I'm not gonna lie, that smoothie made me and Matt feel so sick. We we didn't want to eat for a long time. We were like, oh, I feel so sick. So right. I'm gonna go everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and your comments and your support. I'll see you in my next video now. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. If you want to follow my book club page, it's on Instagram at Tiffany Thinks Book Club. I'll see you in my next video. I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. Bye.